Okay, good morning everyone. Today, today's lecture we will be dealing about uh, the different models of artificial neural networks and uh, we have seen in the previous class about what are neural networks and why they are used and what are the different types of learning etc. So today we will take a basic model which is a Maculopitz neuron model and uh, we will try to see how to implement different logic gates which are already known from a DST point of view, how to implement the logic gates in terms of artificial neural networks. Okay, so just a revision of uh, the structure of the neural network. So as you can see, in our brain, we have different neurons which are there, which are very well connected. This is a neural network. Structure of the neural network. It is made up of input layer. So I can have some input say x1, x2, x3, three inputs. And then there are hidden layers and then there is output layer. So you can see that the input layer, these all which are shown as circles are considered as neurons. So this is a neuron. These are all neurons. They are not biological neurons, but they are artificial neurons. And there are layers for this particular network. So how many layers are there in this particular network shown? There are three layers. The first one is the input layer. Then we have got this is the input layer. Then we have got the output layer and in between the input layer and the output layer is the hidden layer. Now in all neural networks there will be one input layer, one output layer and there can be many number of hidden layers. So this is the basic structure of neural network. Now from the input layer to the hidden layer there are some connections which are there. All input neurons may not be connected to the neurons in the hidden layer. Similarly, all hidden layer neurons may not be connected to the output layer neurons. So, there may be a connection between or there may not be a connection. Again, these connections are weighted connections. So, there can be a weight which is assigned to these particular connections. Now the weight can be, the weights which are assigned can be positive weights or it can be negative weights. If at all the weights are positive weights, then we call them as excitatory weights and if at all the weights are negative weights, the weights are called as inhibitory weights. So I can write it as excitatory weights, if at all the weights are positive and they are called as inhibitory weights if at all the weights are negative. So we go to the next slide in which we will be seeing the basic Maculopitz neuron model. Now in this Maculopitz neuron model as you can see there are inputs here x1, x2, x3 up till xn. So there are n inputs which are presented and there is only one neuron in this particular model which is shown. So this is a neuron model. This is only one neuron is considered and there is a threshold which is shown by T. So at every neuron what has to be calculated is we have to calculate something as net. And what is this net? This net is nothing but the sum of the weighted inputs and how it is calculated is that x1 is multiplied by w1 that is the weights okay before we calculate weight or net what is w1 w2 w3 wn these are all weights w1 w2 w3 wn are all weights now these weights can be positive and negative i have told you but in case of Maculopitz neuron model, the weights can be 
only plus 1 or minus 1. So if at all the weight is plus 1, it is excitatory weight and if at all the weight is minus 1, it is inhibitory weight. So, if at all the weight is plus 1, it is excitatory weight. If at all it is minus 1, it is inhibitory weight. Similarly, in case of Maculoquist neuron model, the input also can be only 0 and 1. So, the inputs can be either a 0 or a 1. That is in case of macular pitch neuron model. Other models which are there, such as perceptron model, etc., which we will see later, this will not be the case. The inputs can be anything else besides 0 and 1 also. So, first thing is to calculate the weighted sum. And what is this weighted sum? That is net. And net is given as x1 w1 that is dot product x2 w2 plus x3 w3 up till xn wn. So basically it is the sum of the weighted inputs. Now this sum of the weighted inputs is then compared with the threshold. The sum of weighted inputs is compared with the threshold. So, what we get is that we can check actually what is the threshold. Threshold is T. And if at all, if the net is greater than or equal to threshold, then only the neuron will fire, otherwise the neuron will not fire. So if at all net, whatever we are calculating here, if at all it is greater than the threshold, then the output will be equal to 1. If at all this net which is calculated, if at all net is less than threshold, then output will be 0 and in this case the output will be 1. So in macular pitch neuron model what happens is that the inputs x1 to xn are presented, all these inputs are presented, they are multiplied by the weights, then you calculate the weighted sum here and then check whether it is greater than the threshold and then the neuron will produce output either 0 or 1. So the output will be either 0 or 1. If at all the output is 0, we say that the neuron is not fired. If at all the output is 1, we say that the neuron is fired. Okay. So as you can see here, the output of a neural network o is represented as OK plus 1 and it is equal to 1 if at all the weighted sum is greater than the threshold. This is the weighted sum what we also have written as net. And if at all this is greater than the threshold then the output is 1. If at all the weighted sum is not greater than the threshold, if at all it is less than threshold, then the output of we have a look at the truth table of the AND gate. So this is a two input AND gate. So when we have two input AND gate, there will be two inputs x1 and x2 and the expected output what it should be. So if at all you want AND gate, this is an AND gate, so x1 x2 and the output can be labeled as say y. So the expected output will be when it is 0 0 the output is 0 when it is 0 1 
again the output is 0 when it is 1 0 the output is 0 and when it is 1 1 only then the output is 1 so we require a two input neuron so the end gate can be designed by using two inputs and only one neuron now why only one neuron is required is because there is only one output and two inputs because there are two inputs for the AND gate so this is x1 input this is x2 input now what should be the weights according to the macular pitch neuron model the weights can be only plus one and minus one in this case we will be taking the weights as plus one so w1 is equal to plus one and w2 also is equal to plus one so the weights w1 and w2 both are equal to plus one now what is the threshold that we have not yet decided what is the threshold that we will see later on but before that we have to calculate the value for net since we know what is x1 and x2 and what is w1 and w2 the next step is to calculate the net that is the weighted sum of the inputs so we calculate net and what is net it is x1 w1 plus x2 w2 so we calculate net that is the weighted sum and 0 into 1 plus 0 into 1 net is 0 0 into 1 1 into 1 net is 1 in the second case when the inputs are 1 0 net is again 1 and when the inputs are 1 1 net is equal to 2 now what we see is that next step is to select the threshold and the threshold T is to be selected in such a way that the neuron will fire only for this particular output that is when x1 is equal to 1 and x2 is equal to also 1 so I have to keep the threshold in such a way that only when x1 and x2 both are 1 then the output will be 1 that is the neuron will be fired so in this case we select the threshold as we select the threshold as 2 when the threshold is selected as 2 what happens is that when the input is 0 0 the net value is 0 and the net value is less than the threshold similarly when the input is 0 1 the net value is 1 1 is also less than the threshold third case 1 0 again it is less than the threshold wherein in the final case when the inputs are 1 1 that time it is equal to the threshold so the neuron will fire only when the net value is equal to or greater to the threshold so only in the last case the neuron will fire and the output you will get as 1 so this particular output will only be 1 when both the inputs x1 and x2 is 1 1 so the output of neural network is uh, most of the time it is represented as O so we also shall take it as O to design an AND gate we have a look at the truth table of the AND gate so this is a two input AND gate so when we have two input AND gate there will be two inputs x1 and x2 and they expect output what it should be so if at all you want AND gate this is an AND gate so x1 x2 and the output can be labeled as say y so the expected output will be 
when it is 0, 0, the output is 0. When it is 0, 1, again the output is 0. When it is 1, 0, the output is 0. And when it is 1, 1, only then the output is 1. So, we require a 2 input neuron. So, the end gate can be designed by using 2 inputs and only 1 neuron. Now, why only 1 neuron is required is because there is only 1 output and 2 inputs because there are 2 inputs for the end gate. So, this is x1 input, this is x2 input. Now, what should be the weights? According to the Maculopitz neuron model, the weights can be only plus 1 and minus 1. In this case, we will be taking the weights as plus 1. So, W1 is equal to plus 1 and W2 also is equal to plus 1. So, the weights W1 and W2 both are equal to plus 1. Now, what is the threshold that we have not yet decided? What is the threshold? That we will see later on. Before that, we have to calculate the value for net. Since we know what is x1 and x2, what is w1 and w2, the next step is to calculate the net, that is the weighted sum of the inputs. So we calculate net, and what is net? It is x1 w1 plus x2 w2. So we calculate net, that is the weighted sum, and 0 into 1 plus 0 into 1 net is 0. 0 into 1, 1 into 1 net is 1. In the second case, when the inputs are 1, 0 net is again 1. And when the inputs are 1, 1 net is equal to 2. Now what we see is that next step is to select the threshold. And the threshold T is to be selected in such a way that the neuron will fire only for this particular output. That is when x1 is equal to 1 and x2 is equal to also 1. So, I have to keep the threshold in such a way that only when x1 and x2 both are 1, then the output will be one, that is the neuron will be fired. So in this case we select the threshold as we select the threshold as 2. When the threshold is selected as 2, what happens is that when the input is 0, 0, the net value is 0 and the net value is less than the threshold. Similarly, when the input is 0, 1, the net value is 1. 1 is also less than the threshold. Third case, 1, 0, again it is less than the threshold. Wherein, in the final case, when the inputs are 1, 1, that time it is equal to the threshold. So, the neuron will fire only when the net value is equal to or greater to the threshold. So only in the last case the neuron will fire and the output you will get as 1. So this particular output will only be 1 when both the inputs x1 and x2 is 1, 1. So the output of neural network is uh, most of the time it is represented as O. So we also shall take it as O. Next we shall see how to design an OR gate using neural network. So OR gate, we have a look at the truth table. According to the truth table, it is OR gate. So the output will be high when any one of the input is high. So in first case, both the inputs are 0, so the output is 0. In second case and third case, any one of them is high, so the output is 1. And in the last case, both of them, both inputs are high, so the output is high. So we calculate the weight, weighted sum for this.
In the previous case, I told you that we have assumed that the weights are W1 and W2. But why the weights are assumed that W1 and W2, if even if you don't assume, sorry, in the previous class I had told you that the weights are assumed as, mm, not in the previous class, previously I had told you that W1 and W2 is assumed to be 1. But why it is assumed to be 1, we can see here. The expected out, uh, the net we have calculated without assuming W1 and W2 is equal to 1. So it is X1 is 0, X2 is 0, so it is 0. When X1 is 0, it is W2. When X2 is 0, it is W1. And when both are 1, it is W1 plus W2 because X1 and X2 both are 1. So, so by designing the OR gate, it has to be such that the threshold has to be selected in such a way that the output has to be 1 if any one of the inputs is high. So in first case, when both the outputs are 0, the net should be less than the threshold. In other cases, it has to be greater than or equal to the threshold in these three cases because we need a high output and the neuron will fire only if at all the net value crosses the threshold. So this is the design for OR gate X1, X2, W1, W2 are the weights and then we have to select a threshold. And this is the output O. So, what should be the weights W1 and W2? If at all we select the weights W1 and W2, uh, we select the weights as W1 and W2, but you can select any other weights also for other models. But in case of Maculoch Pitts neuron model, what happens is that we have only two options, plus 1 and minus 1. If at all we don't select plus 1 and if at all we select minus 1, then these conditions will not satisfy. Okay? So we select weights as W1 and W2 is equal to 1 and 1 and see if these conditions get satisfied. So here it will be 0 is less than the threshold, 1 is greater than or equal to the threshold, 1 is greater than or equal to the threshold, 2 is greater than or equal to the threshold. So if at all you draw the number line, I have 1, 2 and 0. So the threshold should, should be selected such that 0 is less than the threshold, 1 is greater than or equal to the threshold, 2 is can also be greater than or equal to the threshold. So in this case also Maculopit's neuron model the threshold is usually selected as a whole number. So what we selected is that select the threshold as t is equal to 1 that is here is the threshold this is 1 so that 0 is less than the threshold because 0 is on this side 1 is equal to the threshold and 2 is greater than the threshold so this particular condition gets satisfied so we select the threshold as 1 so basically what we have done here is that we have selected a threshold is equal to 1 for an OR gate and we have selected a threshold equal to 2 for an AND gate. Next we will see an OR gate. Now an OR gate basically it is an inverter. There is only one input and there is only one output. So basically when we draw the through table there will be one input and one output and uh, since there is only one input there can be two possible options 0 and 1 when the input is 0 the output is 1 and when the input is 1 the output is 0 so in this case we have only one input given to the neuron we have to select what should be the threshold and what should be the weights now remember that when I say the weights are plus 1, these are excitatory weights and when the weight is minus 1, these are inhibitory weights. 
So in this case, whenever whenever input is zero, the output has to be one, and whenever the output is one, so whenever the input is one, the output has to be zero. So it has to inhibit. So that is the reason in this case the weights are considered as negative. So for the NOT gate, the weights are taken as negative because these are inhibitory gates. Similarly, we have got NAND gates and we have got NOR gates. In this case also, the weights will be considered as negative. Now what should be the threshold? The threshold should be selected in such a way that the threshold should be selected such that the net whatever we calculate it should be greater than 0 for this case that is the whenever we want the output as high so we will calculate net what is net in first case net will be x into w that is net will be 0 in second case net will be minus 1 so what should be the threshold the threshold which I so in first case I want the output to be high so 0 should be greater than or equal to threshold and minus 1 should be less than the threshold. So the threshold we take as 0. So if at all we draw this is 0 and this is minus 1. So if the threshold is selected as 0 such that T is equal to 0, it is the threshold is equal to 0 and minus 1 is less than the threshold. So remember that for a NOT gate, this is a NOT gate, for NOT gate the threshold is selected as 0 and the weight is selected as minus 1. Next we move on to the NOR gate.